before I go into this teaching and before I uh, pose a very compelling question, uh, I want to invite you to be open-minded. And I want to invite you, uh, either if you are a Christian, if you're a uh, Bible-believing individual, or if you're a Bible scholar, or maybe you're not, maybe you're not a Christian, Uh, maybe um, you've never really picked up the Bible and read it for yourself, and you don't know what the Scriptures contain when it comes to Bible prophecy and end-time eschatology. And so with that said, I want you to be open-minded when I ask this question today. Who is responsible for the hurricanes, specifically the hurricanes that are taking place uh, this recent uh, past of time in North Carolina and in Florida? Who is responsible for the hurricanes, God or the government? God or the government? And before you freak out and you say, oh, any natural disaster, um, of course, is just Mother Nature, or that's just the weather doing its thing, and uh, that's just the the seasons. We're in hurricane season. Well, uh, I want you to uh, stay until the end, because I believe that after I unfold what I'm about to unfold with you, it's going to surprise you. It's going to shock you, because I'm going to come at it, uh, this particular topic, from two different perspectives. Um, from what is the agenda of this world, according to just public information, according to the technology that's available and out there today. And then I'm going to share with you exactly what the Bible says. Who is responsible for the hurricanes? And I'll even take it a step further. Who is responsible for the natural disasters around the world? Is it God or is it the government? And before we dive in, I want to open up the scripture to the book of Revelation. Open up your Bible with me to the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 13. And I will begin reading in verse 11. Revelation chapter 13, verse 11. Then I saw another beast come up out of the earth. He had two horns like those of a lamb, but he spoke with the voice of a dragon. He exercised all authority of the first beast, and he required all the earth and its people to worship the first beast, whose fatal wound had been healed. He did astounding miracles, even making fire flash down to earth from the sky while everyone was watching. And with all the miracles he was allowed to perform on behalf of the first beast, he deceived all the people who belonged to this world. He even ordered the people to make a great statue of the first beast who was fatally wounded and then came back to life. Verse 15, and he was then permitted to give life to the statue so that it could speak Then the statue of the beast commanded that anyone refusing to worship, it must die. Verse 16, Revelation 13, 16, And he required everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to be given a mark on the right hand or on the forehead. And no one could buy or sell anything without that mark which was either the name of the beast or the number representing his name. Wisdom is needed here. Let the one with understanding solve the meaning of the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six, six, six. Who is responsible for the hurricanes uh, around the world? Is it God or is it the government? I want to tell you today that according to the Word of God and according to that scripture that I just read in Revelation chapter 13, there is an agenda here on this world, here in this earth, um, along with the United States and around the world. There is an agenda, a global agenda to control mankind, to control the population, because the end goal is for the powers that be 
to control your finances, uh, your religion, uh, your income, uh, your state of living, your children. The, con- the agenda of this world is to control you. And if they can disrupt or rattle any part of your life, then that is one step closer to what the Bible uh, prophesies, that in the last days there will be a one-world government, a one-world leader, a one-world monetary system, a one-world military system for global population control. That is their agenda, which is in broad daylight. Now, you also need to be well aware that the world that we live in uh, with the uh, modern advancements of technology and artificial intelligence or AI and uh, the fact that I'm able to hit record today and reach thousands of people across the entire world and just a click of a button shows you the advancement of technology. And as elementary as that sounds, it goes to show that we have really, really advanced in modern technology. Now, in the realms of weather patterns, in the realms of uh, what can you do on the Internet, um, is it possible that you could control uh, technology and broadcasting and radio and airwaves? Yes. Then I ask the question today, I ask you uh, to open up your hearts and minds. That is, it also possible to take that same technology and use it in the realm of a bioweapon that could dictate weather patterns. Could that technology and that artificial intelligence or that AI, could it dictate uh, hurricanes and tornadoes to make natural disasters not appear as natural, uh, but more catastrophic, more aggressive and intentional? And what I'm getting at directly is there was a, a doctor in 2012, at the early beginning of 2013, and he goes on a, a live uh, news station. It was either Fox or NBC or one of the, just the, the public local news stations there. And he went on to say, uh, stating that they have lasers. This was a, a, a doctor uh, that stating that they have lasers that modify floods, agriculture, and hurricanes that dictate weather patterns. In other words, that the government has ability to take care of and control bioweapon technologies and manipulate weather weather patterns uh, to accomplish a specific task on the earth, which is to what? Destroy. Control. Wipe out the human population. Because I also um, am not afraid to be direct with you on the other side of this camera and tell you that the government's not for you. The government is out to kill you. The government is out to steal and destroy you. And uh, the Bible tells us in John chapter 10, verse 10, that there's only one force that is behind that act. The Bible says the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The spirit of destruction that is behind this world right now is an antichrist spirit that will be alive and active on this earth until Jesus comes back. So to answer the question, do I believe uh, that the hurricane specifically in Florida and in North Carolina, uh, if that was created by God, was that judgment from God, or was that created from the government? Well, I also want to show you another scripture according to the Word of God. Turn to Luke chapter 21, and let's read what the Bible says. Luke chapter 21, verse 7. The Bible says, this is uh, the disciples, they said, Teacher, when will all of this happen? What signs will show us that these things are about to take place? What are the signs of the end times, is what they were asking. Jesus said, don't let anybody mislead you, for many will come in my name claiming I am the Messiah. The time has come, but don't believe them. You will hear of wars and insurrections, but do not panic. 
These things must take place. Verse 10, nation will go to war against other nations, kingdom against kingdoms. There will be earthquakes and there will be famines and plagues in many lands and there will be terrifying things and great miraculous signs in the heaven. Jump down to Luke chapter 21, verse 25. And there will be strange signs in the sun, in the moon, in the stars. And here on earth, the nations will be in turmoil, perplexed by the roaring seas and the strange tides. People will be terrified at what they see coming upon the earth, for the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then everyone will see the Son of Man coming on a cloud with power and great glory. So when all these things begin to happen, stand up and look up, for your redemption draweth nigh. Friend, do I believe that uh, the government had a part to play in the hurricanes that you're seeing uh, around uh, the United States today? Absolutely. Do I believe that according to the word of God and according specifically to John chapter 10, verse 10, that God sent the hurricane uh, to hurt people? No, I do not. Because the Bible says the devil, the thief, comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have life. God does not uh, inflict uh, destruction and pain and uh, just total annihilation on his children to teach them some kind of lesson. That's the devil. And because there is an antichrist spirit and agenda that is here on this earth, do I believe that they are behind wiping out the human population in whatever means that they can? And do I believe that that had a part to play in the recent hurricanes that you're seeing on these coastal states? Absolutely, because their end goal is to control you. Their end goal is to control you, to limit your finances, to tell you who you can and cannot worship. They don't want you to worship God. They don't want you to have freedom. And if they can't force you to not worship Christ, then simply their attempt is to take you out. But I believe that because you are watching this video on purpose, and that you came to this broadcast by divine purpose. I believe that you are not going to be swayed and deceived by the distractions of the enemy to get you off course and to even get you terrified. Because the Bible does prophesy that these things will take place, but that doesn't mean that God intentionally sent it, my friend. So do I believe who is responsible for the hurricanes? Is it God or is it the government? Uh, God is not the author of uh, destruction. I want to encourage you again. The Bible says that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights in whom there is no shadow of turning. That means he's a good God. That means every good gift comes from God. It doesn't come from the devil. God does not send bad things on the earth to teach you a lesson. So maybe you're watching from Florida. Maybe you're watching from North Carolina and you're wondering, why did God allow this to happen? It's because the Bible says the earth lieth in wickedness. We live in a world where sin is, is the earth is crying out because of sin. Sin carries its own payload. And we live in a world where there's wicked people, but it will not touch you and it will not harm you in Jesus' mighty name. I believe that from today simply because you're watching this broadcast. You're an overcomer. God has a great plan for your life, and I believe that in Jesus' mighty name, you will not be deceived. You will not go through fear, uh, doubt, or worry, or anxiety, or depression, simply because of the things that are taking place around this world. Uh, this is the victory that overcomes the world, First John 5, 4, even our faith. So who's responsible for the hurricanes? God or the government. I want to say thank you so much for watching this broadcast today. If you've never given your life to Christ, if while I was reading that scripture in, in Luke chapter 21 and even in the book of Revelation, and you're not sure if you were to die tonight, if you would go to heaven, this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to my YouTube channel, Colton Hall. This is my YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button. Subscribe 
to my YouTube channel right now and go to the main homepage, you're going to see a video that says how to know if you're going to heaven. If you're not sure if you were to die tonight, if you would make heaven, have peace with God. Know that all of your sins and all of your accounts with God are paid in full. Pray that prayer with me. Click on the, the link. Uh, click on the video at the top of my page at the, uh, at the home screen there, how to make sure that you're going to heaven. And uh, I'll see you on the other side. God bless you. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. And I believe that our best days are ahead of us.